Rugger's brave. Rugger is the best. He loves new adventures and tackling a new quest. He's Rugger. Last week on Rugger Tales, at Mission Bay a game of rugby was played, but the two opponents that day did not make the grade. Now to find Alice, who's worth her weight in gold. And there's some at the rainbow's end, or so we've been told. That's where we pick up the story. Soon the rugby rescuers arrive at the end of the rainbow, or should I say, rainbow's end, and found not a pot of gold, but a huge fun park. Now guys, said Rugger, remember we're not here to have fun. The mountain men could easily have Alice in this big fun park. So let's quickly go around and hop on all the rides to see if we can find her. This is an awesome place. Did you go on the pirate ship? Yes, said Webb. Did you go on the gold rush? Yes, said William. Did you go on my favorite ride, the Fearful? No, said Rugger. We would have, but Webb would have been too scared, said William. You were just as scared too. Hey, hey, there's no gold at the end of the rainbow. Or Alice. I dig it, dudes. But listen up, because a brother from another mother has some intel on Alice. Wow, said the excited Ruggabees. Go ahead, we're all ears, so to speak. OK, word on the street is that the mountain men have Alice. Let the cousin finish, bro. The three mountain men were spotted hauling a sack over a bridge. And there's only one super bridge in the super city. And here's another thing. There are caves on the other side of that bridge. Caves, yelled William. Everybody knows the mountain men of Mulu live in filthy, stinky caves. Where is this bridge you speak of? Asked Rugger. What do I look like? Roadmap hooded knight? Look, if I were you guys, I'd be finding the highest point and taking a look around. That's it. I got a jet. Ladies. The highest thing here. Oh, no, gulped Webb. That means the fearful. Wow, said Rugger. I can almost see the end of the world. And look, there goes a super bridge, added William. That must be where the mountain men have Alice. Phew, said Webb. Are we back on the ground already? Ah, uh, not quite, Webb, replied Rugger. Uh, ask me again in about a second. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the mountain men of Mulu hideout, Alice had been held captive for too long and was getting very tired of seeing her rescuers having so much fun without her. It's just not fair. They're having all the fun while I'm sitting around with you useless layabouts. In silence, Rugby. The fun is about to begin. Especially when your friends cross over that bridge. <laughs> what do you mean? Enough of the questions! Sorry, gee, you keep your hair on. Who cuts all of your hair, by the way? That person's probably more evil than you, Alice laughed. But that does give me an idea. You three follow me. Time to come out and give us a twirl. Oh, me first, me first. Oh, look at pretty squash. <laughs> Boss, look at my pretty dress. <laughs> oh, good grief. OK, let's see the rest of you numbskulls. Oh, you look just <laughs> divine. Now, didn't we all have fun playing dress up? I'm not coming out. No way, Jose. I've got to run in my tights. And it's not even my colour. 
witness embarrassment. No! This isn't fair! Will the Ruggabees run across the bridge? And speaking of running, is there anything worse than a run in your tights? Find out next week in the next exciting episode of Rugged Tales. And remember, sometimes to find what you're looking for, you have to search yourself. He's Rugger!